I certainly did not press uh, the Prime Minister on any additional commitments beyond the ones that have already been made. Uh, all I did was to compliment Canada on not only the troops that are there, the 108 that have fallen as a consequence of engagement in Afghanistan, uh, but also the fact that uh, Canada's uh, largest foreign aid recipient is Afghanistan. There has been extraordinary effort there. We are not, uh, in the long term, through our own efforts, going to establish uh, peace and security in Afghanistan. But that job ultimately can be done only by the Afghans themselves. So I would hope that all strategies that come forward have the idea of an end date, of a transition to Afghan responsibility for security, and to greater Western partnership for economic development. I think the clean energy dialogue is an extraordinary beginning because right now there are no silver bullets to solve all of our energy problems. We're going to have to try a whole range of things. Uh, and that's why sharing technology, sharing ideas, sharing research and development is so important. Uh, here in Canada, you have uh, the issue of uh, the oil sands. Uh, in, uh, in the United States, uh, we have issues around coal, for example, which is extraordinarily plentiful and runs a lot of our power plants. And if we can figure out how to capture the carbon, that would make an enormous difference uh, in how we operate. Right now, the technologies uh, are at least not cost effective. In Canada and you know, all the major countries of the world through the G20, we, we agreed to pursue uh, economic stimulus measures, not just to stimulate our own economies, but to recognize that we have a synchronized global recession that requires policies that will not just benefit ourselves, but benefit our trading partners at the same time. If we pursue stimulus packages, the goal of which is only to benefit ourselves or to benefit ourselves worse at the expense of others, we will deepen the world recession, not solve it. So I think it's critical that the United States has been a leader for a long time in the uh, goals of an open global economy. I think it's critical that that, uh, that, that leadership continue. And I'm, uh, I'm quite confident that the uh, United States will uh, respect those obligations and continue to be a, a leader on the need for globalized trade. With a NAFTA agreement that has labor provisions and environmental provisions as side agreements, it strikes me if those side agreements mean anything, then they might as well be incorporated into the main body of the agreement so that they can be effectively enforced. Uh, and I think it is important, whether we're talking about our relationships with Canada or our relationships with Mexico, uh, that all countries concerned are thinking about how workers are being treated and all countries are concerned are uh, thinking about environmental issues of the sort that uh, Emmanuel just raised earlier. So, uh, you know, I raised this issue with, uh, with Prime Minister Harper. Uh, my hope is, is that as our uh, advisors and staffs and economic teams uh, work this through, that there's a way of doing this that is not disruptive to the extraordinarily important trade relationships that exist between the United States and Canada. I just think it's important to reiterate that since uh, NAFTA came into force, and more importantly, since Canada signed its uh, free trade agreement with the United States in 1988, um, Trade agreements between our two countries have been nothing but beneficial for these two countries. Uh, there has been a massive explosion of trade. It was already the biggest trading relationship in the world. It's so much bigger now. And that trade supports, uh, you know, countless millions of jobs. I'm a little biased here uh, because uh, I've got a brother-in-law who's, who's Canadian and uh, I have two of my key staff people who hail from Canada, and uh, I love this country and uh, think that uh, we could not have a better friend and ally. Uh, and so I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that our relationship is strengthened. It's a safe bet uh, that the United States and Canada will uh, continue to enjoy an extraordinary friendship. Uh, and together, I think we've got an opportunity uh, to show the world that the values that we care about, of democracy, of human rights, of, of uh, economic growth and prosperity, uh, uh, that, that these are uh, values that uh, the world can embrace and uh, that we can show leadership uh, 
and I'm very much looking forward to working with, uh, with this government and, and all Canadians uh, in, in order to promote these, uh, these values. I want to also, by the way, thank some of the Canadians who came over the border to campaign for me during the, uh, during the election. It was much appreciated. Uh, and I'm looking forward to coming back to Canada uh, as soon as it warms up.